Hello, what's up and welcome to Jump Inside Games. Today we are doing an Unleash video on Food Truck Simulator and honestly this game is generally really really awesome. I love this game to pieces so without no further ado let's get into it. <laughs> So let's begin by talking about Unleash really quickly. Unleash is where we give about six different facts about things that you can do in this game. So let's begin with driving a truck. Now driving a truck on this game is pretty simple. I was actually quite surprised how easy the truck controls were considering it's a simulator game and they make the driving the truck part pretty simple. One of the more funny things about driving the truck that I really enjoyed was my first experience right here when I was just driving along and then suddenly I accidentally hit someone. The way that you hit people in this game, if you do it by accident, they just fling a little bit around the truck. It's actually quite funny to actually see happen. Unlike other certain simulator games, you won't just drive through things, you will hit things. So I like that about this game. There are objects in this game, they count and they do have a reaction to if you hit them. Other than that, I really like this. I love the whole driving a truck. They've made it really simple, easy, and they've made it fun as well. So I like that. Good marks to driving a truck in a game where you have to drive a truck and sell food. Without no further ado, I think we should get on to the next portion of this game, which is selling the food. Now, the first time you sell food in this game, you'll go through a tutorial and they will kind of explain exactly how you sell food on this game, which is great because it gives you a bit of a tutorial exactly about how you sell food. But unlike other cooking simulator games, this is a food truck simulator. So the cooking's a little bit more easier. Basically, people on this game will come up to your truck and they will place an order down, which you'll see on this board in front of you. Then you'll have to actually get the food and all the ingredients to make that order. Some burgers might say medium or some burgers might say well done and you'll have to cook them to that point. As you can see the burgers have three statuses. They have a uh, raw, rare, medium and well done and you cook the burgers accordingly to how they're said on the order. It's very easy, there's not a lot to it, it's very simple and you just cook and then you sell and you upgrade your truck. And the first pizza is done. Yes, as well as cooking burgers, you'll also have the opportunity to cook pizzas as well. This is as far as I've got in the game, so there are more than just these two types of foods that you can cook. I'm unaware, but as far as I'm aware, you can cook pizzas and you can cook burgers in this game so you do have a bit of option but anywho i will move now on to upgrading your truck so let's go into the upgrades and the upgrades are pretty simple and easy what you'll learn to do when you first start out in this game is go onto the computer and just pretty much upgrade your truck on whatever you have unlocked as you level up you will gain more upgrades so you want to continue to level up and then you can pretty much do what you want with this truck as you unlock more items. This is what you get when you first start out. So very basic starting out stuff. You get to paint your truck. You get to upgrade the wheels of your truck. And as well as that, you'll be able to upgrade things like your fridge and your cooker and pretty much anything that's inside this truck, you get to upgrade. So yeah, as you level up, upgrade all the stuff that's inside your truck as you would in any game that's like this and all the upgrades that you do are inside this area here which is your warehouse area where you can pretty much upgrade you can walk around this place it's got a bit of a, a home vibe to it so this is the location that you'll be living in when you're walking around and you're not actually selling anything on the truck so this is your living area Look at you. Now we can get back on wheels. But remember that this now we'll move on to the next part, which is actually ordering the food. And the food orders is pretty much, and it's very simple. You click the products that you want to order and you put them into your shopping list. 
Next, you want to come down here to pick up point and all the items that you put into your shopping list, you want to collect them and you'll collect them and you'll place them into your shelves and fridge. So place them where you want or you can set automatic and you can just have them placed automatically into the locations that you want to have them. Inside this section of the game, you'll also be able to do little mini games. So you might have a thing where you've got to unlock a door code and the code's written on a shelf that you will have to search for. So for example, here, I had to put in a code that was written on that desk. So 3792, very easily entered the room. You'll also have the option of unlocking safes. So you'll be able to come over here, go to this computer and just change all these things so you can actually get inside this safe. So that's always a good thing. Mini games are a lovely thing in this game and I love a little mini game or two. Anyway, moving on to the next part. Just and the next part is basically the story or the tutorial, whatever you want to call it. There's a lot of helpful tutorial in this game. This game takes it nice and easy on you. So it will show you around and how this game should be played. So I really like this tutorial. It makes this game easy and understandable. It doesn't throw you in the deep end. So yeah, I really like the tutorial and I really like how this game is all laid out. And I think it's a fantastic game. If you want to check this game out, if you want to play it, I definitely consider it. It's not that much and it's a really good game. So yeah, go for it if you feel like this is a good game. And I will mention the only disappointing part for me is this game isn't out on console yet. And it's not out on GeForce now, which I really want this game to be added to. This game sells for around £15. You can get it on Steam if you want to check the game out. Um, so yeah, definitely consider it if you're interested in this type of game. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you guys on another Jump Inside Gaming video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.